there's a lot of moving parts and you have to yeah. know what you're doing to do this. And they were making it sound like, oh, anybody can just go in there. Mm -hmm. This was stuff that you guys should be thinking about doing. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> um, but anybody can lose money doing this. Talk a little bit about what entitled means. I I'm sure there are people on here that don't completely understand. Okay, well, entitled land basically means that it's a lot that's ready to build a house on. So you have a lot of land, especially in North Carolina, that's zoned agricultural. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's it's basically not entitled for a single family home development. It, you might be allowed to build maybe one house per five acres or 10 acres, something like that. You know, a typical farm homestead, but you're not going to be able to build on third or quarter acre lots. So entitled land means that someone has taken that parcel, they've had it rezoned, they've had either um, the utilities designed or installed, uh, and the house, and basically the lots are ready to build on. Doesn't necessarily mean developed land, but right. it means it's it's basically, it's, it's at a point in the zoning process and the design process where you could build uh, we usually say on. shovel ready, you know, the, yeah. the infrastructure is not in, but it's ready to start that phase. Right, right. Basically, it's, it's got an approved plat mm -hmm. for single family construction is is what it is. And, you know, the the thing about it is, is and, and I know we're doing some development on a couple of parcels and the engineers right now, you, if you call them up, they'd be like, we're four months out from even looking at your project. They can't even look at your project for four months. Wow. Which wow. is insane. Okay. And so now here's the funny thing is so you've got to go to say a neighborhood meeting to try and get a piece of property rezoned mm -hmm. in order to do that. You've got to have a preliminary plat or some idea of what you're going to do. You call your engineer to do it for you. And he's like, I can't look at it for four months. I mean, now you got to add another four months to your due diligence with that landowner just to get a preliminary uh, plan that maybe takes the engineer four to six hours to put together. Right. It, it's just, it's, it's insanity. It really, really is. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think that the uh, housing is going to get any more affordable, mainly because we can't build fast enough for the demand, especially in these areas in, in, in the Sunbelt. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, building new homes by the decade, you know, you know, 2000 and, to, you know, I guess really 2005 to, to, to now, it's like, I think 10% of the previous uh, uh, decades wow. that built. It was something, something small. It was something like, like 3 million units as opposed to the previous decades were like uh, 20. 20, yeah. 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 yeah, I saw that. I saw that diagram uh, this morning, I think, and uh, I okay. was a little shocked. But I know, I mean, that's the reason why is all the good land's been built out on. Yeah. Um, you know, now anything that's anywhere near Charlotte either has flooding issues or um, some other sort of weird easements. I mean, you, you, every now and then you can find a piece of land that you can build on or split one off from another existing home and that type of stuff. But, you know, building a big development near Charlotte is just next to impossible. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have all the people that I've already got mine. I don't want anybody else to get theirs and they're all going to be yep. protesting, getting it rezoned and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm seeing that out in Union County now. Yep. NIMBY. They don't want your kids going to the same schools. They don't want you to, you know, they like that big open field back behind them. That's why they bought their house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, being on the planning board, I get that argument all the time. I, I love looking out across the street at the farm and I would say, well, that's, that's why wonderful. I bought a farm. So, yeah. yeah. Go buy a farm then. Yeah. yeah. And, that's you know? and, 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 and that's what I would tell them. Listen, if you want to keep that view, Go to Oak Park. Go over there and buy it from them. They have <laughs> yeah. just as much right to sell it to a developer as you have to buy it and keep it apart. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, and that's another thing. It's funny you'd say talking about buying land. Um, one of the things that we run up against all the time is we start talking to these sellers, these land sellers, and they want, they basically want market value as entitled land for unentitled land. Mm -hmm. You know, they want, 
fifty thousand dollars a lot for a piece of property that's not even entitled yet even though we're the ones that have to take it through rezoning uh design development all that stuff they they want to they, they, you know they think hey this is how much it's worth I, that's how much that lot sold for over right, there right <laughs> and so it's just you know it's those frustrating discussions you have to have with people but it's and all then, in the, it's all in the game we play yeah, yeah. and the negotiation that, that could be part of it look i'm happy to pay you even more for this land as long as you get it entitled yeah are you yeah. going to do the work right are you yeah. the one that's going to take this through zoning and and planning and, and and all those things and you know once they figure out what is involved they they don't want to do it that's why i was curious about your flipping land comment are they really talking about having the landowner take it well, through they, they are having the the seller do it and then they're doing it themselves but they're not owning the land oh yeah no that's not is, that's that's normal yeah, they're doing the work just yeah. in the in the seller's name and yeah. yeah and they they put a deposit down and it has to be entitled before the contract's any good so well, they would get their deposit back if the land if the municipality says no we're not doing so that. i guess they're doing but an they, option but they still uh, bear the cost of, of getting all the engineering and stuff done yeah so they're they are at risk to some degree just the money yeah. and there's a lot of expenses for that i mean you think about you've got to hire a surveyor soil engineer You've got to have an environmental scientist go out and see if there's any wetlands. I mean, there's just so many things that you have to do before you can even really take it to the planning board. You know, you have to do your your feasibility study before you before you start laying down where you want to put lots and those types of things. So unless you know what you're doing, it could be a it could be a real uh, mind bending process to try and run a piece of land through development. Yeah. And that was one of the things I was kind of laughing about. Um, there's a lot of moving parts and you have to yeah. know what you're doing to do this. And they were making it sound like, Oh, anybody can just go in there. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that you guys <laughs> should be thinking about doing. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, but anybody can lose money doing this. Yeah, right. 